Hello and welcome to the first video of section 6. In the previous section we looked at geostatistical algorithms. In this section we'll talk about statistical learning. In particular, we'll learn how to use various algorithms to estimate a target variable using a set of additional data, which are referred to as predictors. In this video, we'll explore the theoretical background of the techniques we are going to explore in this section, linear models, regression trees, and support vector machines. So what is statistical learning? In simple terms, statistical learning is a set of techniques to estimate a target variable using other data, called predictors. For example, take this plot. Here we observe that in our data there seems to be a relation between height and self-esteem. So the question is, can we use height to estimate the self-esteem of people who we have not yet interviewed? This is the key question that statistical learning tries to answer by modelling the target variable y as a function of the predictors f of x, which in this case is just height, but normally we would collect many more data to act as possible predictor for our target. The simplest way to model our data is with a linear model, in which self-esteem can be estimated by fitting a line through our data. In this case we have just one predictor, but the same model can also be used with many predictors. This is referred to as multiple linear regressions. As you can see the model is very similar to what we fitted before, but here we have many predictors. A possible issue with this model is that if we have many predictors, there is a chance that some of them would not be important for estimating the target variable, and may even cause the model to increase its error. This means that with too many predictors, this model may not be the best solution. To avoid giving too much weight to useless predictors, some methods use a form of penalised linear regression, where some predictors are weighted less. This may increase the accuracy of the model. In this section we'll test ridge regression, which is a form of penalised regression, and lasso. It's not within the scope of this course to go too much into the mathematical details of each algorithm, since we're more interested in presenting the R code. However, at the end of this video I've included a slide with some references, among which a very good book that introduces the concepts of statistical learning, and that is free to download. Another useful class of models that we can test are regression trees, these algorithms divide the dataset with simple if-then rules, as you can see in this image. The basic form of regression trees is CART, which fits only one tree to all of our data. More accurate forms are based on fitting numerous trees to our data using various techniques to increase the overall accuracy of the estimates. One example is gradient boosting, where successive trees are fitted to minimise the error of the model. Another alternative is random forest, which again fits numerous trees and generally reaches very good accuracies. The final part of our course will be dedicated to support vector machines. These are again very popular algorithms which are routinely used by the machine learning community. Again, please refer to the references provided to know more about each algorithm. In particular, the book by James et al. is very easy to read and provides you with a very good background regarding all the methods we are going to apply in this section. The same contents are also presented in a free video course that you can access from the third link, which I found very useful myself. Finally, I provided a link to Kaggle, which is a platform where the machine learning communities share their code about machine learning. This concludes the first video of the section where we presented the methods we're going to test later on. 